Very good day. Very good day. Um, Jane Remover, two new songs, Flash in the Pan, Dream Sequence. Um, this is like, again, I've already known Jane Remover to be someone who is, you know, works very quickly, right? There was the Teen Week EP in 2022. Um, and then there was Frailty in 2022. And during 2022, there was Daria Core. And then 2023, there was Daria Core um, 3, because two Daria Cores came out in 2022. Uh, we had the singles, the two singles in 2023. And then Census Designated did eventually come in October of 2023. Wait, am I saying this right? Or did they, this, these started in 2021. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm a year behind. Um, but October 2023 was census designated, and now it's, you know, not even a year already getting songs, which apparently, at least Genius wants to suggest this is for an album coming out next year. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, I needed to listen to this. It may be a while before these come out, and Jane Remover, since it's designated, was my album of the year last year. It absolutely blew me away. Um, finally, too, you know, I wanted Jane Remover to come to Toronto, and it's finally happening. In two months, I'll finally be able to see Jane Remover live, uh, opening up for Peggy, who is someone who I've uh, seen live beforehand. Okay, well, without further ado, let's get into this song. <laughs> Shut up in the air What he thinks about my mind and body Everybody think they own a piece of me If you want a little taste, you can bite it You said I'm on stage and you're thinking about all the guys in front of me I can see it in your eyes, baby girl, don't lie to me I know how bad you wanna scream my name They must be bugging if they don't know who I am You find a word to say, you know with me though Wake up and find out it's not true And I like it Yeah, so Jane Remover, uh, um, I like Jane Remover <laughs> uh, a lot, and it seems to me that it's going to be pretty hard for her not to, like, impress me. Um, yeah, this song is awesome, um, kind of new as well, um, very focused on these hi-hat sound, liking the hi-hat sound on there, um, and kind of rappy in elements, I will say. Uh, rappy also sort of makes me feel like lyrically they're wanting, like it feels kind of in this like pop anthem angle, but you know, sound wise, not even close. Um, very interesting. Um, weird, weird stuff, weird stuff. Um, I'm gonna get into this lyrically and see what the deal is. Then we'll get into dream sequence. Um, I can't live with shit up in the air. What he thinks about my mind and body all the while. Okay, so you just, you're living, but you're just like, you don't want to have to be in this position where, you know, you're in your head about this person and what they're thinking about you. Okay, I really can't blame you. We don't have a single thing in common. I left my patients back at 30 Street Jason. I got a thousand miles on my next life. Um, I don't know what this means. I got a thousand miles on my next life. Um, but I do kind of understand, like, you know, you're in this situation with someone and, yeah, not having someone something in common with people. It's weird, you know, sometimes you can sort of get romantically connected to people who you just, it just, it's like, on paper, it do, maybe doesn't really make sense. Um, everybody thinks they own a piece of me. If you want a little taste, you can bite it. Um, okay, yeah, so I don't know if this maybe has, is part of a situation of uh, now being slightly a celebrity, not really a celebrity, but a public figure, right? 
Um, so they may have to deal with people who are just fucking annoying. And, uh, you know, Jay Rubber is sort of suggesting, fuck you. Uh, he said, I'm on stage and you're thinking about other guys in front of me. Okay, so this person is a, a singer too, maybe, I'm assuming. Um, and they're mad at you for thinking about other people, which... I'm thinking the situation is more like you're accusing me of something that you fucking don't even know, right? I can see it in your eyes, baby girl don't lie to me, he has the whole world, and then some in the palm of his hands, I'm jealous. So you're jealous of this person, for the situation they're in, I'm trashy for a bitch with no cre uh, credentials. Um, pretty boy said I was just a flash in the pan. Um... Okay, so I'm assuming you're maybe in a relationship or not full on in a relationship, but there was something happening with you and someone and this person, and this kind of reminds me of census designated in a while, way because you were discussing someone and that who just seemed to be fucking just shit to you. And this seems like shit too, right? Like basically just suggesting, yeah, your career don't, don't mean shit. Okay. Oh, look at you. Okay. Like. You made some good music, but like no one, you know what I mean? Which is, okay. I could take her flow if I can't take her man. I know how bad you want to scream my name. They must be bugging if they don't know who I am. Okay. You finding words to say, you not with me though. Wake up and it's not true. I got dreams of you. And do you feel it though? Wake up and find out it's just you. Can you feel from miles away? I'm thinking about you. I can never get away with lying. Okay. So like regardless, you're still like, this person's still in your mind regardless of sort of how they've treated you. Uh, I like his voice and the way he thinks about me. Then I'll go to sleep and wake up crying. So it's, yeah, it's, you're doing this like back and forth thing where it's like, oh, you know, oh, there's all these good things. But then it's like tormenting you. This person is tormenting you. This is just like census designated. Um, I'm on stage and now she's, he, he's thinking about other girls. So it's, you're both, it's just toxic shit. Um, but you're suggesting, I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? Like, it's sort of like, hypocritical in a way maybe you know what i mean you got me wrapped around your finger boy so tell the whole world that you know who i am Ooh, that's always the worst when people got you wrapped around their finger you don't want that <laughs> i've certainly been in situations where i've had to recognize you know the other person even if it's not like a romantic relationship even if it's just like you know it's just like games being played they i have certainly been aware of the situation where they're like you know, they're happy about this power that they have over you. Um, not good. You don't want that. <laughs> yeah, that will fucking just drive you a little too insane. You finding words to say, you're not with me though. Wake up and find out it's just you. And I'm waiting on you to come save my life. Okay, yeah, this is just like sensic days and it really is. You can't let these boys get to you, Jane. You can't let them get to you. Okay, let's go. Let's see what dream sequence is.
it's interesting. It's a rework of this song, which I've only listened to this song like a live performance. That was a while ago. Um, but that actually kind of makes sense that this is sort of a venturing song because this song, comparatively to the first song, is just like 90s vibe, grunge vibe, you know, working on that shoegazy dream pop, like, yeah, like really, I think it's like a fake release date in the 90s for venturing um, somewhere, like, and that makes sense to me. Um, I prefer this one to the first one. It's just bliss. Okay, Jamie Roover's got some fantastic vocals on here. I love, you know, sort of the transition of like, you know, soft, hard, soft, hard, very much so like grunge music, um, you know, that sort of structure. Um, fun, 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 fun. Um, okay, let's get into these lyrics here. You'd rather live to please and die a virgin. You'd rather live to please and die a virgin. So do you want to go see the world, but you're stuck at work? So this person is, you know, just a stick in the mud. They're not living their life is basically what you're suggesting here. And I think rather you live to please is like you're stuck at work pleasing people instead of pleasing yourself, right? Um, okay. I want to take it serious and take it slow. Said I want to make it to Christmas. Oh, but I fall off the bone. Okay. I'm, I'm, I assume this has something to do with like what you eating during Christmas and like, it, you know, something, but maybe this is like something that's like cooked to perfect. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you want to take it slow, but you know, I, you know, it's not working though. We don't think it's going to work. And I could wish he hears this, but when he does, I won't. I'd rather le live to please the lips beneath his nose. If you go anywhere, where would you go? Okay. So if you could go anywhere, would you want to stay here? Huh? So trying to like maybe suggest like what is this person's adventurous side? Like, can I get this out of them? Can I take get them to go on this sort of like journey? Um, or are they wanting to stay, you know, live in this small world? Like my, like, a, what's the word? Worldview. Um, or maybe this is, maybe could be suggesting like staying with this person. Um, you want, you don't want it to, get any deeper our relationship potentially this is just i'm just trying to read into that maybe uh and when the wind whistles you'll wake up unlucky again with none of your things your bandmates your lovers and friends so you're like not connected to all these people sad it just seems like this is it, this seems like a little bit of a different like romantic situation where it seems maybe again if this is from jane's perspective this again could always just be music but um from Jane's perspective, it seems like she's the one kind of controlling the situation. Maybe someone is sort of kind of maybe a little reserved, shy, not really getting out there, out of their shell. And, and you're in attempting to do that and it doesn't really seem like it, it, it's really working. Um, yeah. Interesting. Uh, regardless, love both these songs. I don't know if this song, like uh, the last time they released a single, if this is just like a B-side that won't make it, uh, like Royal Blue Walls. Um, but regardless, I love both these songs. This is amazing. Jane Remover, goaded, goaded. Um, I'll be very pleased when the album comes out. Regardless, though, I'm still, you know, spinning Jane Remover stuff on the regular. So if there's anything you want to see me react to, anything at all, you can put a comment down below. And thank you for watching. Peace.